Hello world, my name is Anisha Malde and I'm a developer evangelist here at Amazon and today I'm going to be covering a tutorial on enforcing Amazon Managed DRM using the App Store SDK. Digital Rights Management DRM is used to address developer concerns around unauthorized copying and distribution of their app. When you implement DRM in your app, you limit access to your app such that only users who purchase your app can install it on the authorized device. The App Store SDK contains the DRM API through which you can enforce license verification for your app. The key changes when upgrading to the App Store SDK for DRM functionality are Amazon will no longer enforce DRM for your app. Previously, when you uploaded Android APKs into the Amazon App Store, you had the option to select yes or no for apply Amazon DRM on the APK files tab. With the new App Store SDK, Amazon no longer adds this wrapper around your APK after you submit it. Instead, if you need DRM for your Android app, you need to take extra steps to manually incorporate license checking functions in your app through the DRM API. It is important to note that if you don't upgrade to the App Store SDK and you select yes, the current DRM functionality will remain the same, meaning that Amazon will still automatically add DRM code into your app. However, this will be discontinued in the future and you will have to upgrade to the App Store SDK to enforce DRM. To enforce DRM in your app using the App Store SDK DRM API, you need to follow three steps. The first step is to head to the SDK download page and download the new App Store SDK for Android. This download includes the App Store SDK jar file API documentation and examples. Next, you have to configure the App Store SDK with your public key. A step-by-step -step guide of how you can do this can be found in the first video of this series, Transitioning to the App Store SDK. The link for this video can be found in the description below. The second step is to initiate the license verification by calling Verify License method. This method is exposed in the Licensing Service class. It takes two parameters as its input, application context and your implementation of licensing listener. You can initiate the license verification when your application launches with either the onCreate method of your main activity or in the onCreate of a custom implementation of the application class. The third and final step is to implement the licensing listener. The licensing listener defines a single method on license command response. This method is called by the App Store SDK after it receives the result of the Verify License call from the Amazon App Store. The licensing response will contain the status of Verify License call. A basic implementation of Licensing Listener interface is as follows. This code logs the return status of the license, which can be License, Not License, Error Verification, Error Invalid Licensing Keys, Expired or Unknown Error. For a detailed description about each of these statuses, please check the documentation whose link can be found in the description below. When you're developing your app with DRM, you can test your app using the Amazon App Tester. The Amazon App Tester simulates the Amazon App Store client. If you have followed the previous steps to enforce DRM in your app, you can test it by doing the following. The first step is to connect your computer to either a Fire TV or a Fire tablet through ADB. Check out the links on screen for more details. The second step is to install the Amazon App Tester on your device. To do this, first uninstall any previous version of Amazon App Tester. Next, download the Amazon App Tester. Third, in your terminal or command prompt, Browse the directory where you downloaded the Amazon App Tester APK. Install the APK on your Fire device using ADB with the command adb install r amazon app testerapk The dash r parameter reinstalls the APK in case you already have App Tester installed. The third and final step is to enter sandbox mode. Sandbox mode constrains calls that would normally go to the App Store client to route to the Amazon App Tester instead. Use this mode only for testing locally. In the same terminal where you connected to your Fire device through ADB, 
enter sandbox mode using the command adb shell set prop debug dot amazon dot sandbox mode debug. Every time you reconnect your fire device through adb, you need to reinitiate sandbox mode. And that should be it. You should now be able to test your app using the app tester as shown on screen, where if you change the license response status in the Amazon app tester, you will be able to see this reflected in your app. To discover more, head over to developer.amazon.com. For more information on transitioning to the App Store SDK and enforcing DRM, check out the links on screen or find them in the description below. Thank you for your time. I hope this video was useful in understanding how to enforce DRM using the App Store SDK. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe.